Hi, this is Rick Morgan. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about doing some UV light experiments. I've done similar experiments before, but been asked for this anyway. And what I've done is I've taken some samples. I've laser cut some of these little coupons. This one's CGC, like this, and I've done CBCS. And you can see how dirty they are because they the laser, like a lot, some of the smoke made these dirty and didn't clean them off. So it's going to give them an advantage because the smoke will absorb some of the um, UV light material. And I have um, a material that I have, which is, I call it a Mackie slab. It's this material that I, I make a cover to go on the front of uh, the, this is, for example, a CGC case. It's clear, it's a clear material like this. And it goes, it fits inside the, this one's got paper on it, so you can still see where it goes. It fits right here in this inner well. And for CBCS, it takes up the whole thing. Uh, and just to protect them from fading light, which does happen, it's a real thing. I'm sure we'll get some comments here that say it doesn't happen, but I have several videos that prove otherwise. And I'm only doing CGC and CBCS because I've reached out to EGS. And they said, there's no way, uh, um, through a third party and said, nope. And then I went to PGX and they said, yeah, well, this was late December uh, last month, 2023. And they said, yeah, we'll send you some next week. I asked them again the following week. They said, yep, right away. I got nothing. And same with a Comet capsule. They make these like flip up, like uh, top loaders that they put. They said they would send me some too. And I got nothing. So uh, I don't know. So I only have the ones I have, of course. We're testing those. And then Noel and I will set up the experiment. I'll show you a photo here. We're going to have a UV light source and a sensor. And we're just going to pass these in there. We'll see. The difference is between uh, CGCs uh, and CBCS and those with the Mackey slab added, and we'll see what the, what the differences are. Now, of course, this is going to be more UV light than you'll experience, but you can see um, the differences if that's important to you. So I uh, hope you enjoy the video. All right, so we're getting about 11,000 milliwatts per meter squared. So Nolan, go ahead and put the CGC in there, please. All right, CGC. Let's see, G, C, the results. Ah, uh, so now go ahead and leave that. We'll let that go for a few seconds. Go ahead and add the slab, Mackie slab on top of that. Mackie see. slab. All right. So C G C doesn't seem to be doing too much. There we go. Let's see what we got. It does oh man, <laughs> it drops to my pretty low. All right. Jeez. Let that go for a few seconds. Okay. Now remove them both. Okay. Let me go back oh. up. Add the CBCS. CBCS. Let's see if anything changes. Keep the letters out of play. Okay. All right. Let's see. So there's some hundred. I mean, it's a little better than the. Yeah. Like slightly better. Right. Now we've had enough for a measurement. Go ahead and add the on top of that. Add the Mackie slab. On top of this. Okay. I'm starting to notice a little bit of a pattern. Okay. Um, bit hard to align it, but I think even if it's a little bit aligned wrong, it can still notice a bit of a pattern. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is better. Okay. So that's it. So we will <laughs> stop it. All right. So Nolan and I redid this experiment with fresh batteries and got higher level for the control. And I showed him how to use this jump software. So I'm going to um, redo that with this. I'm going to save this script to the data table. And this is the data that we got. We got 13,000. That was 100%. And then the CGC, CBCS, the Mackey slab values. And then those combined all in one. So let's take a look at that as a graph building exercise. If we took the um, just the case material here and we looked at just the exposures as a bar graph, this is the control here. That's what we started with. And here's CBCS. This is how much UV light was reaching the sensor. This is the uh, uh, CGC. Here's those with the Mackey slab and a Mackey slab alone. If I remove that and say just the book exposure by percent, so what percent did they get? And I'll overlay the color here. So now you can see that this is how much with no protection at all. You'd see 100%. You see GC, you see that much. It's, um, it's 97.7%. 
CBCS, it was 94.7, slightly better. And both of them were around 39% for those with the MacuSlab. And MacuSlab alone was, uh, with, well, actually that was 39%. And the others were 30, 32%. So you can see that there. Um, so that's it for that. All right, Nolan. So what did you think about that data we saw here? I showed him the data that we took. Um, with the fresh batteries. There's here. a apparent pattern. That I <laughs> exactly right. So if you want to, we we do sell these things. They're very good UV absorbent plastic. They're much I better agree. than those thin films that you buy, which yeah, have I absolutely almost agree. Almost no effect. The thin those thin films you lay on stuff have very minimal effect. We can we should do experiment with those too. But uh, the summary is that CBCS is slightly better than CGC. But yeah. if you add, if you're really concerned about your book, it's a high value book. Lots of reds and yellows. It's important to protect it then you definitely need to either keep it in the dark or or put something in front of it yeah help it out and we'll put a little where are we going to put the little thing at right there is that where yeah. you want it nolan we'll put a little yeah. link so you can you can it. find these on our website so can't see it we make CG, cgc magazine size cgc regular and uh, cbcs uh, regular size uh we call them a mac lab uv defenders so uh, nolan's proud of his watches he's got two watches on so i don't know what time it is it's a uh, 11:56, and I'm, I'm sure of it i'm confident <laughs> entirely confident it's definitely 11 56. He's, he's proud of himself all right <laughs> say goodbye bye, bye. bye. <laughs> take care bye bye